According to a report by Reserve, the freelancing market is projected to reach 25 billion US dollar by 2025. And if we talk about the data field, the demand for skilled freelancing data analysts and data engineers has grown over the last few years due to increasing organizational data need. And in this video, I will share my freelancing experience as a data analyst and Power BI consultant. So far, I have worked with good numbers of clients, including one of the leading retail and superstore chain in US market as a freelancer. Till now, I do not have any account on any freelancing platforms such as Fiverr or Freelancer or anywhere else. Nor do I have any portfolio projects to showcase my expertise over various tools. However, I have worked on several significant projects which I got through my personal connects and professional connects on LinkedIn. Currently, I have 60k followers on LinkedIn and my presence on this platform has helped me a lot with various opportunities. Most of the time, people reached out to me on LinkedIn for various freelancing tasks. If I have to categorize the type of project based on the scope of work that I have undertaken as a freelancer and Power BI developer, then there are three categories. The first category is end-to-end -end Power BI development and implementation. These opportunities are very rare in freelancing as they require a complete team to handle tasks such as information gathering, creating data architecture, ETL processing, and finally implementing Power BI solution according to users' requirement. These projects can take months to conclude and offer impressive budgets, allowing freelancers to earn in lakhs. The second category involves working as a consultant for any specific tasks. Here, you don't need a team. The freelancer will be the one who will identify the issue and resolve the same using his own expertise. For example, once a representative of an organization reached out to me regarding an issue with their scheduled refresh as it was constantly failing and many other such tasks. So in these tasks, freelancer estimate the time needed to fix the issue and quote a price accordingly. The third category consists of support role where freelancer assist other developers with their day-to-day -day task and are paid on hourly basis. Developers from various countries such as US and UK who already have great packages pay freelancer from other countries to help and do their tasks. Skilled freelancer with expertise over the tool can easily earn somewhere from 500 to 2000 per hour. I hope you will find this video fruitful. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe the channel for more such contents.